Hey up guys, welcome to the channel, my name's Eddie and I thought today we'd try and start a, start a series, we're going to get a series going where we're going to be working for Eddie Stobart full time and then every episode of the series will be like a day in the life of a Stobart driver I'm going to try and present it to you and record it in the style of a real truck driver's vlog. So I'm going to try and make it look as realistic as I possibly can. I'm going to be driving sensibly. We're going to be abiding by all the traffic laws. And I'm going to try and simulate... Get a bit of speed up. I'm going to try and simulate a more accurate working time and driving time and rest periods and we'll try and make it look as realistic as we can well that's the idea anyway and with this being a bit of a UK series throughout the series what we'll do is we'll go around pro mods in the UK and every episode we'll we'll visit a different town village or city that there is in pro mods that is the plan and I think we'll start off by we'll upload catch your knees up let's go past them let's go past them oh yeah they're motoring now oh fucking hell mate Jesus Christ <laughs> Bleep that one out. <laughs> no, we'll leave it in. We'll leave it. <laughs> so where was it? <laughs> so we're going to do one episode a week to start off with, and we'll see how we'll go from there. Now. This isn't the only thing that's going on the channel at the moment. I'm going to upload other videos with other subjects. This is just one series that we're going to continue on every week until further notice. This van's getting on my nerves. I'm going past him. We're going for it. We're going for it. We're going for it. So if you like the sound of everything you've just heard, you think you might enjoy it. And you want to join us on our virtual travels. Typical this van changes lanes now. It's causing loads of problems here. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon thing as well. Yeah, stay in this lane. I am backing back now, backing back down to 85. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell little icon, little by <laughs> little bell icon, and then you'll be notified every time a new episode is uploaded. You will be notified. And you won't miss anything. So let's get on with today's vlog then, shall we? Monday morning, it's our first day on the job. We are officially Stobart Trampers. Hey, hey! So, it's Monday morning. 
we went to Carlisle this morning, we drove up in the car, we got in the yard for six o'clock, we've been given a job, which is three drops, we've carried oil, barrels of oil, and we're going to Liverpool, Manchester, and final drop in Sheffield. So we picked the truck up, we got the keys about half past six. This is the truck, she's called Autumn Adelaide. And she's a 2012 Mercedes-Benz Actros, or Albatross as I like to call them. And we've got a Merc Albatross MP4 with 510 horsepower, only 510 or 517, something like that. 62 with a med lift and I'll, I'll show you the truck once we've parked up I'll show you the truck because it's quite a nice truck actually it's quite clean quite tiny so we got the keys about half six now we had to go pick up a trailer We're, we've got curtains 45 foot curtain sign on hey up please act normal act normal the trailer's all loaded and ready to go, 22 tonnes of oil. Now because I'm a bit of a nerd, I had to figure out how many barrels of oil 22 tonnes was. And apparently a barrel of oil is 136 kilos. So for carrying 22 tonnes, it works out about 160 barrels. So I'm guessing that we've got four barrels on a pallet and we're carrying 40 pallets and if each pallet's four foot by four foot we're going to have 22 pallets on the bottom row and 18 pallets on top which gives us as 40 pallets and they're the type of problems that keep a trucking nerd awake at night so we're coming up to the first drop now, which is Liverpool. We're going to BASF Chemicals. We're dropping 20 pallets here, so we're going to be losing half the weight. So we've got to get this drop done, and it's over to Manchester for a second drop, and then over to Sheffield for the final drop. And we're just coming into Liverpool now. So I'm guessing that place in front of us with all the smoke coming out the chimneys, that looks like a chemical plant to me. So I guess we're going there. So I bring you all the best places I do, don't I? Look at this. Liverpool, Manchester, Sheffield. You spoilt lot. So let's get this in. Let's get these 20 pallets off. And I'll show you the truck as well. When we parked up, I'll show you the truck. Nice and steady, nice and steady. And that is our place right in front of us. That was nice and easy find, right? So let's have a word with this guy on the gate. And let's see what we gotta do. Come on, fella, get out of the way. See this happy chap here. All right, Dave. All right, mate. Where do you want your loom, mate? Where do you want your loom? <laughs> All right, maybe you shouldn't ask a guy where he wants his loom. So we'll pull up here. What time are we on? I can't see because the steering wheel. 10 past 11. We make good time. 10 past 11. We can get this off loaded. I'll leave it here for now. We might have to shift it in a minute. So I can get this off loaded. And I'll catch up with you in a minute. So there's the truck, guys. Autumn Adelaide. Fleet number H2745. Now she was a real truck. She was a real Stobart truck. I'll put a photograph of the original one on screen now so you can see. I've tried to make it look as much like the real thing as possible. I've even got the right number plate on it. 
So if you wait for Stobart between 2012 and 2017, you probably would have drove this truck. Or well, there's a chance we could have. Anyway, it's getting on. It's nearly one o'clock now. We've been here nearly two hours. Let's jump back in the cab and uh, get over to Manchester. So that's the truck, Autumn Adelaide. Now, I only assume she retired in 2017 just because Stobart's <laughs> tend to only run their trucks for five years, don't they, before they sell them off. And she used to be a model as well, this truck. Not a page three model. <laughs> <laughs> she was a, a scale model. Stobart sell model trucks, don't they? Scale down model trucks. And Autumn Adelaide was used to be one of the models. So if you have got a Stobart model, have a look. You might have our truck. Cheers, Dave. See you later, mate. See you later. Oh, now we're going to get out of here. Some cops about it, they? Better up a scene. Right then, next job. Manchester. It's one o'clock. We did manage. How long were we in there? Ten past eleven. Ten, nearly two hours. Hour and fifty minutes. We did manage to sneak a forty-five in though. So the driving time's been set, reset. Working time has been reset. So we're just free to go again now. If we can get through this traffic, this dinner time traffic. Oh, come on, guys. What places to go, people to meet here. What I wanted to talk about, actually, while well, we've got a break. Well, <laughs> a break, a break from driving. I want to talk about Euro Truck. We've got to talk about Euro Truck for a bit, haven't we? Because it's hard times at the moment for a Euro trucker. It really is hard times. And it's all because of this 1.36, 1.37, 1.38. We've had two updates in the space of two months, three months. I barely get it over the 1.37 updates and it's 1.38 now. Watch this caravan. Taking up some room. So we're on 1.38 now, but we're using Pro Mods, so we're not using 1. Point, come on, boss! Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's a nice Scania, isn't it? Terrible driver, nice Scania. Come on, fella, get on with it. So yeah, Euro trucks on 1.38 now. Oh, thanks, pal. But I'm still running 1.37 because we're using Pro Mods, and I've been waiting patiently. I'm expecting Pro Mods to update any day now, and I can't wait till it does because then we can get on to using 1.38. Because at the moment, half my mods aren't working. So we've got no truck mods. This is the standard SCS truck, this is. Standard sound, we've got no sound mods. This is the standard SCS sound. And I'm just waiting till, once Pro Mods is updated to 1.38, and then I'll start looking for mods. I'm not even bothering looking for mods at the moment until Pro Mods has caught up. Which lane? I'm going this lane. I used to have a, a traffic mod in as well called DP's Real Traffic. I think it's that one. Which I recommend if you're using 1.38 anyway. It's a, it's a good mod, that is. It's give you realistic traffic congestion that goes, it's busier at rush hour and quieter at night but we're not using well I'm not using any traffic mods at the moment so I've had to uh, come on down the side of us I've turned my traffic density up in the developer console 
and that gives us the heavier traffic. So what I'll do, once, once ProMods is updated and we move up to 1.38, I'll just share what mods I'm using as and when I download them. Because we have got a few problems at the moment with this 1.37. I don't know whether you've noticed that the gear changes are a bit weird. I mentioned it on the last video actually about the gear changes. When I first got in 1.37, I thought I was thrashing the knackers off my truck. Yeah, that's what it sounded like to me. It just sounded like I was, I was revving the nuts off it all the time. And it is a fault with 1.37. And they've, uh, whoa, they have addressed that in 1.38 they've adjusted where the gear changes are in the rev range it's getting busy I don't know whether I overtake or slot I'll slot behind I'll slot behind this of course now I normally use automatic gears I've got the gears set on real automatic and I've also got the the accelerator pedals set I've forgotten what they call the setting is it called progressive progressive accelerator or somewhat along their lines it's where if you've only got the throttle or pressed then you're sort of in economic mode economic is it economic or economic you're in economic mode where it should change gear around 1400 revs and if you floor the throttle it'll rev to about 2000 revs and we're in manchester already So yeah, if it sounds like I'm thrashing the truck a bit, I'm not, it's a fault with the game. I've forgotten where we're going here, where are we going? We are TNT. We're looking for TNT. That's a nice truck, eh? Look at that. It's like a Volvo. Beautiful. Nice, nice. Yeah, we're looking for a TNT and they're going to have 12 pallets off us, which doesn't leave much on, luckily. good time here really it's only just over two hours it's taken get it just over an hour rather not two and if we just make his way through all this traffic is that was there on the right it's that orange building over there in it This traffic murder is. I call this sitting in traffic simulator. <laughs> it's just like real. I told you it was going to be realistic. Don't get much more real than this. Just chock a block standstill traffic everywhere you look. We'll leave the uh, the walking. I can't think of what they call what you call it. <laughs> you know, I'll leave the crossing clear. The walking cross place. <laughs> I'll keep the crossing clear just in case anyone wants to cross the road.
And we're free, free like a bird. And TNT. We are here, what time is it? It's nearly 20 past two. It's taken about an hour and a half, well, less than an hour and a half, hour and 20, hour and 25 or something. Which ain't too bad considering the traffic. I'm going to do a lap of the yard here just so I can get perfect position on the, on the reverse. Yep, WS transportation in the house. To give you a little sneak preview, the next video I upload, not the Eddie Stobart one, not the not episode two of this, there's gonna be another video first. And just as a little Easter egg for you, it might be a WS transportation skin. I definitely know there's going to be at least a couple of you that like that. Alright, let's see if we can get this in here. Well that's us, we're in, it's just gone 20 past 2, let's see how long it takes to get this lot off, and I'll see you on the other side. Well, that's another one done guys what time are we on it's nearly four o'clock it's five to four we better get a move on now because the time is running low so we were in there time we get there 20 past two 20 past three a good hour and a half a good hour and a half we managed to grab another 45 minutes so so we reset the driving time We've got plenty of driving time left. What we're worried about now is working time. Uh, we'll Sheffield now for the final drop. And we're about two hours away or two and a half, depending on traffic, of course. But we started work about half six this morning. So we're going to be due there about half six probably. We come off past seven. We'll be on a, a long day or reduced rest. So if we're not done by half past seven, we're sort of forced into a, re forced into a reduced rest. So I definitely want to get done. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Pointless making plans, really, isn't it? So you've just seen I've just lifted the axles up because we've only got eight pallets on now. It's about five ton, probably. So we don't need the mid axle down, and the trailer's got a, a lift axle on the front as well, so I've lifted that up. We don't need that, not with five ton on. And it's just a race over to Sheffield now. 
and I've had a, a message from the office and apparently we're loading in Hull in the morning so if we have got any time left we're going to try and start making us a start making us way to Hull to load up in the morning and word on the street is we are due south I'm not sure exactly where yet But again, one step at a time. We're not, blah, we might not even make it to Sheffield. So let's stick the hammer down. Tricky gear, any gear truck, any gear, any gear, that one will do, that one will do. Let's stick the hammer down and see how long it takes us to get to Sheffield. And then we can see how much rest we're having later. It's a nice trailer in front, isn't it? That's beautiful, that is. It's all past four. Let's get to Sheffield. to Sheffield it is almost six o'clock made pretty good time there two and a bit hours was that so hopefully to get this load off there's only eight pallets to get off so hopefully they'll be quick smart about it and we can be on our merry way See what traffic's like in Sheffield then, it doesn't look too bad to be honest. Ten past six now. Hopefully the worst of the traffic is gone. <laughs> bum bum. <laughs> What's that Renault doing behind us? Does he know something I don't know? That miserable cow there. Cheer up you miserable cow. So we're looking for DB Schenker, as it called. I'm trying to think. I'm just trying to think what we're doing now because, well, I, did I tell you that we're headed out to Hull in the morning, or we're loading in Hull in the morning? But I suppose it all depends on how long it takes to get these pallets off, doesn't it? 
I can't make plans. Until these until I've been unloaded. These take three hours taking this off, but all the plans are down the drain, aren't they? Well, it looks like most of the traffic is gone. So we've bit popped up there, haven't we? Where are we going? Over here. We are here. This is it. Quarter past six. So hopefully we have to get this on in less than an hour. And we've got some choices of what we're going to do tonight. I've got to remember now, my wheelbase is a little bit longer because I've lifted all my axles up. Pretty terrible positioning that is, to be honest. But we can fix it. We'll fix this. <laughs> I'm miles out, aren't I? That was, that was terrible positioning. If it takes a couple of shunts, it takes a couple of shunts. Ah, I think we've rescued it. I think we've rescued it. Like a glove. Like a glove. He says as he's drifting wide. <laughs> That's good enough for me, boss. That's good enough for me. I didn't think she was going to take that then. <laughs> what time is it? 25 past 6. Let's hope they get this off in an hour. I will catch up with you when they get this off. I'll see you in three seconds. One, two, three. And just like that, we're back. We are empty. It is... 10 past 7. Right then, let me tell you where we are. It's 10 past 7. We've got... Well, we've got a choice. We can either find somewhere, park up within the next 19 minutes. And that will give us a 13 hour day, so we could... We can have an 11, uh, we can have an 11 hour rest. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to push on for Hull because it's got some light. And let's go on, let's let's get cracking because I've got to get a move on here. So we're empty. So the situation is this we've got. We've got an hour and 20 left on a nine hour drive. Or we've got two hours 20 on a 10 hour drive. And we can either park up within the next 15 minutes at half seven, or we can push on till half nine. So I'm going to split the difference here. 
we're going to push on. Until we use us nine hours of driving. So it does mean we will go into a, a nine hour rest. <laughs> But I've heard where we're going tomorrow. And it's every UK truck driver's nightmare. Guess where I'm going? Every truck driver's nightmare. London. <laughs> we're going to London tomorrow. So we're going to push on now. There's a service station or a services up on the A1M what the M1 and I'm going to try and make it to there and I reckon I can get there in about an hour an hour and ten minutes which is going to take us over a, a 13 hour shift but it keeps us under is under a 10 hour drive so we're going to be able we were doing a 9 hour drive it would probably be a 14 hour shift so we are forced into a 9 hour rest but that's no problem so if we get to where we're going by say half past 8 we'll have 9 hours then which means we're up at we'll be up at half 5 and then we can carry on going to Hull hopefully get to Hull for what time half five hopefully get to Hull for seven half seven seven where we're reloading for London so that's what I've decided to do so what I am going to do now <coughs> I'm going to thank you all for watching if you have enjoyed the video let me know leave me a comment tell me you've liked it if you haven't enjoyed the video leave me a comment and say I didn't enjoy the video but if you do that tell me what we, what you would like to see tell me where I can improve be nice to have some comments because it's quite lonely down here in the darkest corners of YouTube I don't get many visitors <laughs> so if you've enjoyed yourself I need slots in here because this is us This is our services. Yeah, if you have enjoyed the video, leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I do apologise for being an amateur, but I am a tiny little channel. We're brand new in terms of YouTube. And hopefully I will get better. I will learn to talk, I promise, I will learn to talk. I know I get my words muddled up. <laughs> but hopefully it will come with practice. We're here, we are in. 25 past eight and we are That's it, we're parked up, we're parked up. Card out, card out. 25 past 8, card is out. We're on a rest. Wow, what a busy day that's been. What a busy day. So we've kept it under a 9 hour drive. But we've gone over our 13 hour shift. We've done 14 hours. 
So it's been quite a long day. We're uh, and a, still an hour and a half, two hours away from Hull. So we'll load there in the morning and then it's down to the big smoke. So thanks for watching guys and I will catch you on the next one.